What's up YouTube welcome to the video and the topic is how to show Firebase real time database data inside a cool looking table and we will use bootstrap 5.3 for that and in this video we are using Firebase version 10 but it's compatible with Firebase version 9. So let us begin. So here we have a list of employees and inside it there are employees saved by their CNIC number and the rest of their information. So we want to show this information on the table. So let us first search for bootstrap 5.3 and we will copy this template and remove all of the unnecessary stuff now let us start creating our table so inside the body we will write table inside this we have two portion first is the t head all of the headers will come inside here so the first header serial number and there will be a t body section where all the table rows will go so we will just assign it an id and we will create the create all of the rows dynamically now the table will get some bootstrap classes to look good the first is just table and table dar table strip so these are gonna be the classes so you can see that the table is occupying the entire page so we don't want that so for this we will wrap the table inside a div with the class container and let's also give margin top 3 so uh, now after uh, this is finished we will start adding the firebase configuration so for that we have to come to the firebase settings project settings and here we have to develop a web app so you, you can add a web app like this fire table pen register and continue to console here you are seeing that your web app is ready so we have to come inside the CDN and copy all of this. Remove all of the unnecessary stuff. And here is our configuration. We will be adding uh, these functions from Firebase database. So we will use some of these functions and some of the functions are for the next video. So we can call this firebase configuration one more thing remains is that we need to create a constant db and use the get database function the next thing that we will do is get all data in table so for that we need employees list so now we will create a function constant select all data once 
equals to we will use the arrow functions which are the new way to define functions now we will create a db reference by using ref function and passing the db now get a child function which takes db ref and the name of the list which is list of employees dot then and inside this then we will create another function which takes a snapshot which receives a snapshot and reinitializes this array no matter we use this with functions so many times it doesn't duplicate the data now snapshot dot for each and child snapshot so by this for each function i will add I will add each employee one by one to the list. So child snapshot dot well function. Or to simplify this, we can just name this employee. So all of the employee will be added one by one to this list. Now, after uh, all of we we have fetched all of the employees and added it to the employees list variable, we will call a function which is add all records, and this function will add all the records to the table. Now, let's create this function. So first we will create a function which will which will be constant add single record and this will take CNIC name email and salary and after that we will create a table raw by using document dot create element function and we are creating a er element now inside a table raw to add data we need table cells so td 1 equals to same function create element and this time we will create a td element now in the first td what we will gonna do is inside this inner html we will add the serial number but we don't have a serial number over here so we will create a new variable s number which will be equals to zero so we will add this to here Now after all the table cells are filled, we will take the table raw and use the append function to add all of the table cells to this table raw. And then we will add the, we don't have the T body. So we will get the T body 1 from the ID. Now T body dot append and we will add the entire table raw to the table body. So we are adding the entire, we are creating the entire row 
then adding it here in the table body. So this is a function to add a single record. Now we need another function to add all of the records. So constant add all records. This will keep our code clean. So an arrow function and we have s number we will make s number equals to 0 and let's empty the t body so no matter how many times this function runs it doesn't duplicate the data employee list variable dot for each and a single employee we will use add single record and add employee cnic now i will use the window dot add add event listener to add the load event of the window set to select data once so this is the complete way of doing things we are fetching the uh, list of employees from firebase here and we are adding each employees in our uh, in our local variable so after storing each employee separately we are calling add all records and this add all record will add every single employees using this method so let's test this out refresh so all of our data is here with the proper serial numbers Now, uh, if, I, if I add uh, some new data over here, uh, the list will not get updated because we have used the select data once function. Now, let me create another function and we will make this select all data real time. This will be responsible to get the live data. And for this, we will use first, we will initialize the name of the list inside our ref function. Then we are using on value function. We will pass the db reference, and there will be a function with snapshot and it will do the same and we will just use this function in the load event refresh so now let's put this side by side and let us come to the real time database so I will add a new employee one hundred. When I add this record, you can see that immediately we have a new employee and the data is updated. So that's how fast this is. So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.